Arizona needs someone who understands the critical issues, who can get to work on day one. The task of choosing a replacement for Senator John McCain once again was up to Governor Doug Ducey. Martha McSally possesses these qualities. Today, he appointed Martha McSally to step into the role once John Kyle leaves at the end of the year. I've spent my life in service, and I'm going to continue to serve with everything I've got to make a difference for those who I represent. That's what I did in the House, and that's what I intend to do in the Senate. A move that didn't come as a surprise to some voters. I just feel that it's unfair to the people here of Arizona uh, and to the people through the United States that legislation to help people and to have programs for their survival will probably be hurt now. I think we have to give her a chance at this point. Um, I wasn't sure when it was Cinema and McSally how I felt. I was confused on that. Both of them seemed to just be hurling things at each other. Could those hurled insults create a permanent divide between our two senators? Political analyst Stan Barnes doesn't see that happening. I think they're both detached professionals and they know the price to be paid to be there. They, they, they each have teams of thinkers and strategists and money and this is how we self-govern. And I, it's not personal, it's just business. And so no, I don't think they'll have trouble working together at all. So of course in Arizona history, our state has never had a female senator and it's about to get two. So for the incoming uh, 116th Congress, there are only five other states in addition to Arizona with two female senators. Uh, California, Nevada, Washington, now Arizona, Minnesota, and New Hampshire, except in all of those states, both senators are Democratic. Arizona is the only state to have two women from different parties. Lauren Reimer for Arizona's Family.